I want to talk about burnout within the context of content creation. So this video is mainly tailored and targeted toward my fellow content creator, whether you are on YouTube or any other platform. Uh, burning out has been something I, I almost reached out to a year ago, but thankfully I pulled back and and, and uh, understood the state I was in. But once I understood that I was about to burn out and the reasons, at least for me, I started to become more aware of that state and what causes it, or at least what are the elements that the content creators take, right? Have to watch out in order to avoid that. And again, uh, this is from my personal viewpoint and I'm gonna talk mainly about YouTube so let's just get into it so burning out is the state when you get tired you don't know why, why you're doing what you're doing you're just exhausted you can barely speak you can't do anything really you feel and I did not experience that, but I know people who did. You feel like you you have wasted a lot of your time for 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 you for a reason that you don't know why, right? And you don't feel motivated anymore to do anything. So that's that's my rough definition of burnout. And how how do you get it? You get it because. And especially with, within the context of content creation, within the context of software engineering. And, and you, you're going to see it as a viewer. You guys notice this. You notice when people are optimizing, let's, let's put that word, optimizing their content so that you, the viewer, click on it optimizing their content so that we don't lose you in the first 30 seconds optimizing the thumbnails so we add stinking borders of certain colors so that you get you can click optimizing the content so we add our faces because some people click on faces and others don't all this is just nonsense if you think about it it's just nonsense and and YouTube is not making it any better because it's going to show you in the back end, which you guys don't see in the analytics, that, oh, this video did really worse than their previous 10 videos. But this video did really great. So this encourages you to make videos, not because you like making that kind of videos, because they work. And what do, we, what do we mean by work? They work because certain audiences respond to that. I'm, so, I'm not saying anything wrong with that. It's a, it's a path that you can take. It's a lucrative path if you have the mental prowess to go there. But it's a very deadly path. You've seen so many YouTubers burn out because of that. They would they would make a series or you make a certain video that works that goes viral and then they would make the same kind of content because it works but they have no soul you can see the desperation in our content that we create just so we can get you to watch and it's really sad if you if you are a viewer and you know about this it's it's really sad it's almost like we lost the touch of creativity and art right? imagine if picasso or van gogh comes to this stage and they're they're not they're nobodies and they just started posting their i don't know instagram right pictures right? nobody would click on it or like it right because certain 
it's definitely not for everybody. They are famous now because we made them famous, right? Because it's just it's popular. We know them. Of course, we're gonna like their because they have value. But today, they will never survive. I don't think so. Because you get you're gonna post their their picture, and then then they're gonna start feeling that oh, they, because they're they're seeing the feedback. Oh, they didn't do this. Oh, let me change it so we can do this. As an artist, and I do consider software engineers engineering as a phase, as as a as a branch of art in itself, because the way you come up with a design to solve a problem is unique to you. When you when you want to learn how to design systems, the worst <laughs> funny enough. The worst thing you can do is actually watch someone else design a system. Ironically, I, I've made tutorials or, or whatever you want to call them. But even in those tutorials or the system design videos, I say that, guys, I try to explore multiple ways. And I tell you, there is no one right solution. This is just... And even when I make these videos, I never prepare. Because if you prepare then you're telling the audience that, hey, guys, this is the right way. I never say in any of my videos that this is the right way and this is the wrong way. I can tell you my opinion about certain things, but I never say there is a right or wrong. It's up to you. And the art of content creation about software engineers is a different field by itself. And I try, that's what I try to do. So when I, when I want to talk about a certain topic i will pick that topic and i will just no script or anything i will just straight talk about that topic these are the most terrible performing videos on youtube because first of all they are long well youtube standard they are 25 minutes 30 sometimes i go to an hour because my point is not to make something so that you enjoy right it's just to build something that i want to build right and this is part of the content essentially and some of you resonated with that content some of you don't and that's okay because whatever you're gonna build and i'm talking to content creators out there whatever you want to build you have to just build it. You have to create it. You don't you don't take others' opinions or you don't listen to feedback or you don't say, oh, this is wrong way of doing it. This is the right way. No. You, you don't have to do any of that because that will pollute your kind of art. So that's the first thing. The influence of the content creation platform itself on the artist or or the content creator in case of youtube you're looking at your analytics and you try to replicate the things that works and you don't have a soul or you don't have a willing to make that kind of content because you tried it once and you just sometimes you just get sick of doing the same thing again so you change and when you change youtube punishes you because hey why how dare you change because if you change, then the audience that you accumulated also change with you. Because it's like, okay, oh, I don't like to watch that kind of content. I'm not going to click on it. And then YouTube shows you this gray down arrows, which, which content creators hate. And you get into this spiral where now you're, you're watching other YouTube videos okay, how do I increase the click-through rate and how do I increase the watch time? And you start adding these hacks into your content, which kind of just stress you even more. These hacks, oh, I have to think about, oh, what the audience, I have to keep the audience attention for the first 30 seconds. Wow. Okay. And I have to add like flashy images and B-rolls every three seconds. I personally don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't have the time to do any of that stuff. Because, and that's what people respond to. So you, people start doing more and more of it. And now let's 
take that and then compare it to other creators, right? So now you're creating something. And now you say you see it's not working. So and you see other people doing certain things that works. So you start replicating that thing. Just because you want your goal is to increase the views, is to increase the watch time. Once that become your goal, I think it's uh, it's just it's a dead on arrival kind of a situation because like if your goal is to increase your views and watch time and and the likes, then you're making content for that. And if you really think about it, you say, okay, Hussein, really, my my goal is not to increase my watch time. I increase watch if that if I increase the watch time, I'm gonna get more views. If I get more ads, I'm gonna get more money. That's essentially I want to get more money because I I am poor and I want to pay my bills. You can have that as a goal, as as a final destination, and you can walk through that, right? And then nothing wrong with that. I'm saying, but that you you can follow that path watch time the views but that pollutes your art so that pollutes your art because now your art is infected with these side things that has nothing to do with the art itself with the content creation itself and once you really speak the truth and speak what you really want to say right without having these thoughts on your back and no pun intended on uh, without having your thoughts like okay uh, oh I, I said this i should have said this oh I, I this sentence was too long i have to make it shorter because people this is the first 30 seconds oh i should not swear in the first 30 seconds because youtube will kind of demonetize it is just stress you might say well it's not really that much well it's not much for a video but if you get making it for a hundred videos it's gonna pain it is gonna make you really suffer through that right? nobody wants to edit thumbnail nobody enjoys that as far as i know i don't nobody wants to add all these b-rolls there are certain it depends really right i shouldn't have said nobody i mean if you if you're if you're all if you're if your art is movie creation then of course right it's like okay this is the, the when you add the b-roll exactly how the b-roll is shot 4k all that stuff that's art in itself if you're building it that way not for the because the viewer is at this certain second is about to lose it and click off the video and you're trying to change it so they and you can see these captions where they people add text and over speech and and things flashing left and right just to keep your attention it's just exhausting no wonder people are burning out of course they're gonna burn out people with i've been watching people with five hundred thousand subscribers that have been getting like hundreds thousand views every video and recently they've been getting 2000 views it's nuts that i say 2000 views is less which is nuts in this world 2000 people watched your content oh my god how is this few i don't understand the word anymore the word is just screwed up <laughs> really if if 100 views is as few oh my god now with respect because we keep looking at tiktokers who get like 3 million views in a 15 seconds video okay nothing wrong i'm not saying anything wrong with anything i'm just giving you the path that is more effective for your health right at the end of the day just there's joy in creating genuine art and genuine content yes and i'm calling content creation for software engineering art because anything you talk about has a root those people who built postgres the database right has spent a lot of time architecting that 
and why they built it this way versus MySQL as a database. That's art to me. I love to talk about this stuff. There are two different approaches that leads to the same outcome, but each have different pros and cons. I love to discuss this stuff. There is art in everything that you create, especially in the design phase itself. All right, guys, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.